Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999. I am on Drakmir, my level 52 clerk, and we're in City of Mist, killing Black Reavers, hoping to get a named to spawn, and usually those names have one of several good items that you can sell, um, including the Nature Walker Staff, the Ornate Shield, and also just spells that you can get off of them as well. So we were here for a while. This wasn't our first um, Reaver that we had killed. And we went ahead and uh, just kept farming. I think we got an, an, a Nature Walker staff or I think it's a Woodman staff. I'm sorry. And uh, I think we also got the shield while we were here. And then tons of spells, tons of spells. And of course, experience is always, always why we're here. But it was just us four uh, killing, and it just made everything go pretty good. I'm really liking playing a cleric. Uh, it allows me to get into situations that I didn't plan to uh, be able to get into at the levels that I'm getting into them. I... You know, complete heal is just one of those weird things that accelerates a cleric to the point where once they get complete heal, all it requires is the mana to be able to, you know, heal for an enchanter who is um, getting a pretty crazy pet and trying to take on crazy uh, I, um, mobs. It also is the same for healing a monk. Who wants to go kill King Trenix because uh, he's up <laughs> trying to get the crown? Those kind of things. So it uh, it makes it more fun to play the class. And as I've been going along, I've been getting better items. I have a new helmet now. I have a new uh, a new range slot. I have two pieces of my. Um, holes of testing armor and of course I have my epic as well so it is just making it easier for me to be a more sufficient healer in the long run meaning that fights like this that take a very long time to fight this is more than seven minutes of course you can see that it's sped up and it um it it didn't really hamper me because of the fact I had um, Clarity 2 and he only had to be healed maybe once, if not at the end of a mob twice um, per, per fight. And by that time that I had to heal him, I had all my mana back. Maybe sometimes even more, depending on if he used any abilities that I didn't know about. But he is a solid tank. Without having taunt, he can um, he can hold his own against a Shadow Knight. Of course, that said, a Shadow Knight that doesn't use his aggro abilities is going to be easily um, out aggroed. But if he actually tried to use his aggro abilities, I'm pretty sure that he would have grabbed aggro pretty fast. And he's he's a higher level uh, Shadow Knight anyway. I mean, he's he's around, I think it was 56, 57, if not higher. And then, of course, the monk is level 60 in this fight. So it's not that it was very, uh, very hard to do these heals. And we also had spot heals uh, with Castile being there. And uh, he was also doing regeneration. He was doing damage shield and the other things that druids do in these kind of fights. So it's, uh, it's been fun playing the cleric. I, I hope to do other things and... I, I try to push um, some uh, fights that um, people may not want to do, but because of those, it's it's not only helping myself by getting, um, like, the crown. I uh, was in Dragon Necropolis the night before with AC Gamer and all of them, and we watched the Vile Fang go down, so we had a timer for it, and because we had the timer, I was able to get the guild to come out and kill Vilefang 
So I was able to complete the crown that you um, that you get by turning it into um, in in Sky Shrine. But and the pieces are the head from um, Dreok, the uh, scroll from Gakreen, and also Valfang's Fang. So that's um, that was pretty cool. Also, we ended up giving the infestation away as well to, um, I think, a member of the circle. So it wasn't it wasn't for not. Um, every, um, we got our piece. We gave away the infestation to someone who could actually use it, and uh, it was all it was all butter. But I uh, I I feel sometimes, and I I think other people may feel that I'm. Um, being selfish, and in some ways I am, but in other ways I'm just trying to make sure that I am a good enough, not only healer in groups, but also have the ability to be a continuous healer whenever it needs to be, um, whenever those needs arrive, um, in heal chains and things like that, and so I, I push myself to try to um, do things that I shouldn't be doing or, um, I mean, I, <laughs> the only reason I got um, um, Dreok's head is because friends came out and helped me get that kill. Not that my guild couldn't have done it because we tried to get Dreok, I think, or we killed Dreok once and um, we ended up giving it to someone else who actually it was their last piece. So, um, whenever my friends helped me get Dreok, I, it was the last piece for me. But anyway, guys, I wanted to thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will talk to you next time. This is Cypher Dyke. Peace out.